welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our 2-in-1 AEW Unrivaled Collection figure reviews. And today, I could not be more excited to dive into this one because we are taking a look at the Unrivaled Collection Series number 5 Jurassic Express slash Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. If you guys follow the channel, if you're a fan of me or you just like watching the videos or whatever, you probably know that I absolutely love Luchasaurus. Ever since I saw this guy debut, I just, I just think he looks fantastic. I love just the whole vibe he gives off. I mean, he looks incredible. He's probably the coolest action figure they put out thus far. And I'm thinking that he's probably the best AEW figure thus far, which we are going to compare him to Series 4 Omega. Take a look at that and all those things to see if he does claim the number one spot. But I could not be more excited to dive into the review, guys. So let's just shut the hell up and dive into it. If you guys would like to pre-order these, I think Luchasaurus is actually like sold out completely. I don't think you can pre-order him just yet. But the rest of Wave 5 is up for pre-order on Ringside Collective. Use promo code MDTOYS. However, also the ringside exclusive, I think, is also up. So if you guys would like to grab these two in white gear, you will have to pay like a premium price, I think, but they are available over there. If you use promo code MDTOYS, use priority shipping, you can get it like 55 shipped to your door or something like that in a couple days when it comes in stock. So that is something you may want to check out. And I think those figures are probably better than this, which we should find out soon. But no more talking, man. Let's shut the hell up and dive into it. Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, here they are. One of my favorite tag teams in all of AEW and probably one of my favorite tag talents in Luchasaurus right here. So in the front casing, you got him right here. I don't really care for this like underhand thing that he's got going on right here. Kind of looks like a weird like, I, I don't know what he's doing. But anyways, guys, here's the front viewing window of the talent. On the side you do get the AEW logo. You get an image of the talent right there. Spinning up to the back, guys, you guys will see an image of Luchasaurus here as well as Jungle Boy right there. I like this image of Luchasaurus a lot better than that one. Uh, it just is a lot clearer. It's kind of like you know, a little bit. Let's just shut the hell up. There's the rest of the figures in the wave right there. Spinning it around AEW logo right there and that pretty much takes care of our unrivaled packaging for this Series 5 Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Now, we've already seen this packaging. Nothing particularly unique about this set, but let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging, man. This is what I've been waiting for for a very long time. Since we got this figure line, I've been waiting on a Luchasaurus official figure. So let's not waste any more time and crack them out of their packaging. Alright guys, so here's Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy out of their packaging, and uh, you know, they're looking pretty swell. You know, we got some gripes and grumbles about them, but we also have some things to praise, which we are going to cover all the things. We're going to get into everything, man. No stone left unturned in this review, Brad. But what we're going to do is cover their accessories first, and then we will go over and cover them together. Now, they don't come with a lot of stuff, right? It's not like they come with a slew of stuff that we have to cover really individually. So, let's just go ahead and dive into their accessories together, and then we'll take a look at both of them, you know, one by one and get into all that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at their accessories, shall we? So for their accessories, guys, I mean, this is pretty much the extent of it. You get two pairs of interchangeable hands with both. With Luchasaurus, you get these, like, relaxed hands or mic-holding hands right here, and I will say one thing that does bother me a little bit about the figure is that his fingertips, I know they're supposed to be green, but I feel like it should fade. It shouldn't be, like, this bold, like, he's wearing, like, something over the fingertips or something like that, so that is something that, you know, it's just, it, it's a little irksome, not like a deal breaker or anything, but it is something that kind of bothers me about the figure. Also, with Jungle boy he also has these same kind of grabby hands or mic holding hands just regular relaxed hands also their hands are pretty much the exact same size so i don't know i mean do with that what you will it's not like luchasaurus is massive i don't know it's not like luchasaurus is brawn stroman size or something but that's just something to note and then they also come with these like grabby hands so you have like these reaching out slash grabby hands for jungle boy and then you have the reaching out grabbing hands for luchasaurus now these look like luchasauruses are actually a tad bigger but i think they are the exact same mold and you guys can see the green right there it doesn't fade or anything it is just straight up and the gauntlets are not removable like these aren't accessories or anything however his waist wrap is removable if you you know if you did the little torso pop-off method you could remove this if you wanted but there is their accessories just two pairs of hands for both luchasaurus and jungle boy so starting off with luchasaurus guys starting out at the top of the head sculpt i am really enjoying the head sculpt i think it looks just like him like the beard shape looks good and everything you can see kind of the green details going throughout there the horns and the green and the tongue out and everything looks pretty damn good. I think the likeness is there. The hair sculpt is really good. We are going to compare it to my custom to kind of, you know, just gauge them, see where, where they fall and everything like that. But overall, I am liking the sculpt. I think this torso is really nice for him. You know, he's a big dude. He's muscular. He's got all of his tattoos going on. Looks pretty insane, I will say. I think, you know, they, they don't look like too saturated or anything. I think they look pretty good on his body. One thing I will say is like maybe some chest hair or stomach hair would probably look better on this guy. You know, make it more a little, you know, just a little bit accurate. You do get these 
big biceps. His, bas his biceps are massive, so that does look good. Spinning him around, you do get all the tattoos on the back there. You get the wrist gauntlets right here, which are pretty damn detailed. You get the scaling on there. You get the, you know, the little strings or the ties right there is all sculpted on there, which is really awesome. He does have the double jointed elbows, which are excellent as well. Torso looks great. Again, I think that looks great. You don't have any issues with that right there. He does get some good articulation in here. If you guys want to see an articulation standpoint, I can do that as well. We do have the little waist wrap right there, which looks accurate. Nothing too wrong with that. We've seen this with Pentagon and other figures, you know, where it's just like a loose little piece right there where you can still pose the figure around. I will say that the tights look really good. I like the gold. I like the green and everything. They do look accurate. You have the knee pads in here in the gold with the thing down here. And this is something that really upset me out of the packaging, Brad. No boot rotation right there. No boot rotation, man. I cannot believe that. That is very bothersome. I just, oh my goodness, man. It's AEW Series 3 Pac all over again with that. I j and, and Riho has that problem too. I don't know why they couldn't give him the boot rotation. Like, I, I don't know why they did that. He still has his custom feet, you know, like the little feet shoes or whatever they're called. It's like a lot of hikers and stuff like that wear these. So these are accurate, which is great. I love to see like the one of one molds, but not having any like kick pad rotation or leg rotation right there. You do get the thigh cut, which is nice. And you know, you can do the splits and all that. But dude, that really bothers me that there's no boot rotation right there. Like that is just something that we really desperately need. I will say that he's kind of difficult to stand up a little bit. I don't know what it is. It just kind of feels like his hips are a little bit loose or something. So that is something that kind of irks me a little bit. But overall, I mean, the figure looks outstanding. Like just looking at him, look at him. I mean, he looks incredible. He really does look incredible. I think he looks fantastic. It's just dude, that, ah, oh, the freaking leg rotation, man. Or the boot rotation, I should say. He also gets a good ankle pivot and stuff in there. So let's go ahead and do a quick little articulation standpoint. As far as the head, he can't look down that much because of his beard and he can't go back that much either because of his hair. So like his head doesn't get a ton of movement around. He can crunch forward pretty solid, you know, nothing too wacky there. You do get the diaphragm pivot up there. He can go like side to side. You do get the, you know, above 90 degrees up here. You get rotation and you get the hinge right there at the wrist. You do get the double jointed arms, which are always beautiful to see. You do get full splitsies right here so you can do all of his crazy poses. You get the upper thigh cut. You do get the double jointed knee, which is a little bit hindered, I will say, because of these knee pads. I may switch these knee pads out, man, because honestly, they do hinder it pretty bad because of this little ribbon cut on the back. Or I may just cut the ribbon off, you know, just cut that off or something because it does hinder the knee when bending it. Because you have this cool sculpt on the back right there, it hinders the ability to bend the knee because of that. So the sculpt here runs into the sculpt here and you run into a bunch of issues, but no boot rotation and he does have ankle pivot, which is beautiful. But yeah, that is your Luchasaurus figure. And yeah, just again, man, I think it just makes it where his legs are hard to stand up or something like that, which is, I don't know. We got, we got to get a handle on that. So getting into Jungle Boy, guys, starting out at the top of the head sculpt, I mean, to me, this figure looks identical to Jungle Boy. I saw a lot of people just crapping on the figure, like up until the release of this figure, people were saying that it's just plain and, you know, it doesn't look like Jungle Boy. Like, bro, what do you, it looks just like the character. And I think that even more seeing it in person. This head sculpt's perfect. Love the curly hair. I think that looks great. Um, he can look down very far because of his hair. Now, he won't be able to look up because of the hair, but the down is really good. Sorry about that. Going down, he does use the same torso that I think we saw with Darby Allen and Orange Cassidy, which works out really well for him. You know, he's like a skinny, lean dude, but he has some good muscle. He does have his double jointed arms there. The gauntlets on the wrist actually do pop off. So without, you know, unlike Luchasaurus, these actually do come off. If you were to pop this off, they have a good color and they have the sculpt on there. His trunks are just plain brown, which is pretty, you know, pretty accurate to Jungle Boy. Don't have any problems with that. This is something that I really like about the figure. His knee pads are one of one. So, like, it's not like they just rehash the same knee pads. These are one of one sculpt. You got, like, the hex pad McDavid style pads. I've even worn these before for sports. So, this looks just like them. You have the hex pads on there, which is really accurate and detailed. You get his nice boots there. I will say his feet look a little bit small, but I think they work. You know, I think they still, he can still stand and everything, but you get some great sculpt and color on those. And yeah, just overall, man, the figure looks really good. Again, not like, like I'm not getting any two-tone stuff going on. You get a lot of great articulation, like his legs. He can do the split seas. You get the upper thigh cut. You do get boot rotation on this guy. The double jointed knee is really fun. I think a lot of people are going to really enjoy posing this guy around, so that will be something to see and note. Arms can go out wide there. I mean, he's got the, you know, he can full 360 there. He can turn here. He's got a really good ab crunch, and he can look all the way down. You get the double jointed arms, which are just will never, ever get old to me. You get the hinge and the rotation, and yeah, there's Jungle Boy, man. Just really great stuff with this figure. I'm really loving it. And he also has a tattoo right here that I didn't 
know about and I don't know what it says but it looks like it got a little bit beat up a little bit just because of the placement of it but I didn't even know that was there so that's something to also know but there is your Jungle Boy figure. So for your Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy comparisons guys here is my custom on the left up next to the official on the right here and if you guys will compare the official one is a little bit taller here but as far as like the sculpt and the likeness and everything it is really cool to see both of these so if I had you know if I wanted a Mattel Elite here is this and I could still use this if I wanted you know nothing wrong with that whatsoever I could use I could totally use this Luchasaurus if I wanted to it would work perfectly for a Luchasaurus if I didn't want to use the official one you know it may chip and stuff like that but if I preferred it over the other I could use it and then if you guys wanted to see what the Jungle Boys look like here is the custom Jungle Boy up next to the official one and they scale pretty good as well so yeah I mean it's I think they work out good I think they also look like them like I think both Mattel customs did a pretty damn good job of you know lining up next to the real thing or the official ones from Jazz Wares so that is a really cool thing to see but there is Jungle Boy up next to Jungle Boy and then if you guys want to see some AEW figure comparisons with the Luchasaurus and the Jungle Boy you have Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy right here and then here is my Series 4 Kenny Omega right there which is in the running for the best figure ever here is our Series 1B Cody see how he scales in here with all these guys so that looks pretty damn good right there you got Jericho in here which looks pretty good knocking over Luchasaurus and then for your tag team comparison here are the Young Bucks up next to Jurassic Express if you would like to relive some sick ass tag team match or do a pick fed match or something like that there is your comparison right there and I think that no, you won't have any problems I think they all look well together go well together I'm not having any issues with the scaling you know I don't think that Luchasaurus is a giant or anything I think he fits in pretty well here and yeah that's pretty good stuff but anyways guys I think that pretty much wraps up this uh, review on the Series 5 Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy now I will say there are some things that do bother me about the Luchasaurus you know like uh, my expectations for the figure I think it lived up to the expectations as far as looks are concerned but I will say that the legs being a little loose and not having that boot rotation does bother me but I still think it should be in your collection like the skull and how good it looks in figure form I also went ahead and added Jungle Boy to his shoulders there to show off that he can do that so if you guys would like to you know grab these or go pre-order them again I would go after the ringside exclusive ones you know just because you know Luchasaurus is sold out right now on series 5 I don't know I'm pretty sure you could still grab the ringside exclusive Jurassic Express so go over there use promo code MD toys to do that so you guys do not miss out on that because once that's going I mean who the hell knows you know with these AEW figures and their prices and everything like that everything is insane but hopefully you know series 4 and series 5 hit retail like series 3 did and you know there's a bunch of waves of them so that everybody has a chance to grab them uh However, I do highly recommend both, man. I think a lot of people, any pick fetters or whatever, are going to get a lot of play out of these. I think that, you know, while the boot rotation problem does suck, I still think they're worth the grab again. Like, I, I mean, the, the Luchasaurus is just insane. It just is. It just looks insane. And it's it's an incredible figure, regardless of, you know, the things that are wrong with it. And we'll see how it ranks, you know. We'll definitely see how it ranks and everything like that. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up our Series 5 review on Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Before we get out of here, let's get into our random show shout out and it is going to go to cream of the crop tv who says i like that they're at least taking the time to make up for their mistakes not many companies do that especially toy manufacturers and that is something that uh, i think a lot of people will agree with because you know they didn't again like i said in our 1b review if you missed our series 1b reviews from yesterday guys definitely go check that out they did not have to do that they could have just been like well you're sol see you later brad and never remade them in the skin tone but they redid series one with the correct skin tone and i thought that was pretty excellent of jazz way and Jeremy and everybody over there. So huge shout out to them for that. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Cream of the Crop TV for that comment. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and uh, you know what Jazz Wears did for not giving him the leg rotation or the boot rotation, didn't they? Didn't they? You crossed the line.